Hello friends, this particular video is for FMG guys and uh, in that uh, they are constantly asking me sir, uh, the main content is uh, like very large, how to approach up uh, microbiology for the coming exam or uh, the exams uh, after. So guys, uh, one thing is for sure, yes, the content is uh, like, uh, I always feel like the content should be same for the PG and FMG exam because uh, that will help you to build up also the things uh, right from the FMG and uh, other thing is like uh, in fact the course is same only okay so what they are knowing up you should also know so that should uh, that is what is the approach of mine that's why I kept up uh, most of the things uh, exactly the same obviously some changes are there so as uh, you have very less time now uh, for the exam that exam is approaching up in December so what you can do guys is yes you can go for rapid revision for sure and uh, most of your questions will be done up if you do up the properly the rapid revisions okay and uh, if you don't have uh, that much time also that you can do the rapid revision then surely you can go for the case based scenario okay so this particular case based scenario this is a four our around video okay so if you have not read microbiology at all up till and uh, you just want to spend a four hours very high yield content then definitely you can go for this case based scenario or case based studies in that particular rapid revision segment so this i have added up uh, the new one if you go and just see that also for uh, like certain four hours uh, most of your uh, questions which you tackling up in the medicine of the infectious diseases or in the paraclinical part of the microbiology that will be done because the approach will be of this particular sort in the coming exam which I feel okay and along with that uh, the other hint which I like to tell you is that uh, the previous year's papers okay the guys uh, the trick which most of the students miss out is they miss out on the previous year papers so the previous year paper of PG and FMG both you need to do INCT you can leave because you don't have uh, so much of time but those that is of neat PG that you need to do okay along with that all papers of various subjects okay every day you make a rule that uh, Today I will be completing up this particular subject. Today I will be completing up this particular subject. Or year wise also you can go up that uh, better to complete up uh, subject wise because that will help you to recall also properly and uh, complete also properly. But without doing these particular papers, if you are going in exam, okay, you are yourself minus 10. Okay, so you are definitely in the minus 10 capacity if you are not doing up this previous year's papers of the FMG and PG so this is what is the hack and uh, the same thing uh, like happened up uh, to one of the FMG guys who have failed up like uh, four to five times and after that passed on and the best improvement what that particular guy have done is he had done all the previous papers of the PG and FMG even that fellow have done the INCT papers also and got 165 marks in the final session so guys uh, i also uh, take it in this particular fashion only for you that uh, you should not miss out on this you should not miss out on the previous year papers okay for the microbiology if at all you have not read at all okay this is to be seen so that will form some sort of a foundation of yours Otherwise, uh, they keep on asking me, sir, which particular bacteriology we should leave or mycology we should leave or virology we should leave. So, guys, you can't leave anything. Because once uh, in a while, I have told up uh, some of the students that uh, parasitology does not come in the FMG exam much. And on that particular time only, around uh, five to six questions they came. So, you can't say that uh, from this particular scenario or this particular uh, portion, the questions will not be coming off. It is not so. It can come from anywhere and uh, later on you just have uh, like uh, you can't blame up that sir you said that uh, bacteriology is this and uh, from that will not come or more will come. So that you have to decide yourself. 
but uh, overall i must say that if you don't have any sort of a time and you have not done microbiology up till or you find it difficult to remember the things and all then rapid revision is more than sufficient for sure and along with that this case based scenarios which is a 4 hours if you have not done up till anything go for this you will able to do a lot of things in the exam for sure okay besides that uh, the various test papers which are there don't get after uh, like a uh, lot of test papers and all but yes you need to solve every day around 100 questions of various subjects as as per your schedule that is uh, your entity only and without them if you are going up in the exam that is criminal okay so very best of luck guys and uh, from my side uh, this is what is the tip is don't miss out on these previous papers and uh, definitely you all will pass okay so thank you so much